In this tutorial, we're going to talk about playlists and specifically we're going to talk about the importance of playlists on your channel. So here are my playlists right here. As you can see, this is a, one of my personal channels and under featured playlists, as you can see, I have quite a few playlists. Now, you might be wondering why do I have playlists? Well, there are a few reasons. Playlists allows you to organize all of your videos so people can find them depending on the specific topic. This is fantastic as you grow your library of videos because it becomes much easier for you to find videos and also for your viewers. It's much easier and a much uh, more user-friendly experience for your users to look for videos here as opposed to trying to find videos uh, here. This is this, you know, when you start having three or four pages, it, it's just not necessarily a user friendly experience. Stop this. Now, another reason is that it really allows you to index your videos separately and it makes it much easier for YouTube to find your videos once you have them in different playlists. And it's a really great way to um, get more views because YouTube knows exactly what you have categorized here under a specific playlist. Now, obviously, you want to be very careful about the optimization of the title of your playlist. I'm going to show you a good example. Here I have Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Relaxer Journey. Now, Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Relaxer is a very popular brand among black women who use chemical relaxers for their hair. So a woman typing in search engine organic root stimulator olive oil relaxer review results. This is going to be a great little search option that's presented to them as my channel gains notoriety. So this is another reason you want to do this. And the other reason is simply that let's say somebody lands on your channel and they look at the videos and they go, well, that's a lot of videos. And then they click here and they see, huh, okay, well, this is interesting. Let's see what she has here. Organic root stimulator olive oil. Okay. So the person can click on the first video and what's going to happen is all of the other videos in that playlist will loop automatically. So they will start playing the minute the first video is done. So you can imagine as your playlists grow, and the reason I'm showing this channel to you is that it is a fairly new channel, although I did start it in March. I didn't start working on it until June, July. And I work on it part-time because it is a personal channel. But in the short time that I've been working on it, I do have 33 videos. It's growing. Eventually, in a year from now, under this playlist here, I may have 10 videos or 20 videos. And they're going to get lost here because after a while, you have to load more videos. Most people will not load more videos. However, they'll happily browse through your uh, playlist to determine which one they want. So how do you create a playlist? So it's very simple. You're going to go under your video manager and you're going to click under playlists and you're going to create a new playlist. Now, when you create your new playlist, you really want to make sure that this title here is optimized. You want to make sure that for video SEO purposes, and I'm going to type this out here so you can see that it's actually been optimized. One thing that I do is I always type in the playlist description. And I do that because it's an opportunity for me to use another, or to use the keyword again. So I can use the keyword in the title and I can use the keyword here in the playlist. Now don't forget that, you know, this is again, another way for you to get found. Now you'll notice that one of the, the playlists here, I don't have a description because again, I was playing around with this one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this playlist or I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep even the video. I may delete it and that's one of the reasons why this one actually I've not filled out. But the others, I do fill out the ones that I know I'm gonna keep the same with this one here. So I'm not certain if it's gonna, I'm gonna keep it or not. But any playlist that you wanna keep or that is public, this playlist for me here is private, the others are public. Definitely you want to 
optimize the keyword, the title, and optimize the, the description. Once you have that, how do you add new videos in your playlist? It's very simple. You're going to click on the video or videos, and you're going to go under this button under Add To, and you're going to select which playlist you want it to go on. So relax, hair best treatments, organic root stimulator relaxer, hair journey. So you basically are able to decide. And once you click on, oops, sorry. Once you, let me go back here. Once you uh, do cl click on these and you actually decide and you place them, they're automatically going to move under that folder or that playlist and it will appear at the front of your channel. So it will automatically appear in one of these playlists. So once again, playlist, very important. I'm going to repeat the four reasons why you always want to have playlists on your channel. Now, one thing is you may say to, to yourself, well, I don't have that many videos yet. You can create a playlist with videos that don't belong to you. And I will show you how you can do that. I'm going to type, actually, I don't even have to type. Let me see here, because this is my personal one, it automatically knows that it's all about hair. So I'm going to click on this. Let's say I have a new channel and I have very few videos. So I would say, okay, this is perfect. It's part of like the hair, relax hair journey. You can add it to a playlist. As you can see here, all my playlists here are featured. So I can create playlists that are keyword rich using other videos that are already um, on YouTube. You definitely can do that to get started. As you start creating your own videos, you definitely want to keep that playlist to your own. It's, it's just better because or else you basically are helping somebody else get uh, better views on YouTube. So that's something that you may want to consider. That said, I do have on the Women Entrepreneurs a channel. And let me show this to you while I'm talking because it's going to be the easiest thing is I do have on that channel a playlist that is um, geared towards mindset videos or motivational videos. So as you can see here, what I've done is I have created all my playlists that are very much geared and focused towards my own videos. However, here you'll see Kick-Ass Women, and those are women uh, entrepreneurs who've you know, create some amazing things in their business and I was collecting them here and here never ever give up. These are motivational videos that I found and I keep these and here are my videos for the Tibetan bowl vibration. I keep these. These I've made public because they fit very nicely with the theme of this channel which is basically business. So that's something that you definitely, I did say that you may want to remove them depending on, again on the topic but in time if you're creating something that's really linked to your topic, then definitely you may want to keep that playlist.